Welcome to Canada Wide. Today we will have a look at these tweets or these X's that Trudeau has been putting, pumping out a lot actually with housing. It's housing, 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 housing. Let's go through examples of what he's talking about. And there's a, the CMHC saying that we need 3.8 million homes and a million people coming in and each one of them need a home. So let's just say four people on a house. So 250,000 homes are needed per year. Let's put this in perspective now. 3,100 3, homes in the next three years. So 1,000 homes a year is what he's looking at and 15,000 homes over 10 years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, you could say <laughs> a thousand homes a year for a thousand years, you know, like, I don't know why they do it. Anyways, now he's saying in Winnipeg. So he's actually targeting cities of where they're putting housing. This is like targeting a news release in a city because the polling in the city that you need help. That's what it, it seems like here. Let's click that link, which I have done here. It is that CMHC. I see there's a president and CEO available. I'm not going to click it. Anyway, let's go through example here because there's a lot of these are the press releases. And I don't I don't know why. I mean, I do know why this agency has to put news releases for the government. So let's go through 52 new affordable homes created in merit. Yeah. How come it doesn't seem very. Uh, very sexy anymore when you say like that 52 homes because like so that's that's it okay 52 homes today the government in investment of 11 million dollars to build new homes so it's a 52 unit building and build new homes okay located a four-story building 36 of the 52 oh, for wheelchairs so they're building a let's have a look at this place Okay, 2640 Spring Bank Avenue in Merritt. Okay, well, so Central Central BC. Let's zoom in again. What, so they're building a 52 unit. Let's have a look here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, across the street from this guy. Okay, so yeah. So the government has to pay $11 million to put a 52 million unit. And I don't understand the government has to pay the $52. Don't they let the land builder build it? And over here, what's, what's, what's over here? Whoa, where's that sign go? Let's have a look. Whoa, look at that. What is this now selling? Oh, starting at $300,000. Okay. So, okay. Oh, so if this is 300000 for home... Okay, well, that's 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 the that's the unit they're talking about in this location. So fifty-two, not very exciting. Fifty-two. Okay, let's look at the next one here. Okay, helping more building Mississauga, f opening of one hundred twenty-three affordable units in Saint Jerome. Hmm. F federal government announces construction of fourteen units. These numbers are low. I don't know if this is enough to write a, pr a press release or they just make it in a, in the city that it is just for a news article, $32 million for 126. Now I have to get the calculator out. Okay. So 32 million by 126 is a quarter, quarter of a million. So I don't get it. The government is paying a quarter of a million dollars per house and giving it to people or they actually buy it or they just change the zoning for it. You know, I'm a bit puzzled with that. Uh, what is the money actually covering? The government just gives, uh, sells it to a developer. They do everything. Where's this 32 buck, 32 million going? So, okay. Not very exciting on this one. Okay, let's go to the next one. This one, Drummondville. Drummondville, let's have a look. 23 units. 8 million. Okay. Doesn't seem very exciting to me. So, anyway, these are all the, the, 
news articles they pump out before they go on vacation for a while. And this faster, building homes faster in Burnaby. Now they're picking a big city. And you know, the houses, the 3.6 million houses that they need, it is broken down by province, but not at a city level. So it'd be curious to know at a city level, how much they're, how many they're building. Like, you know, it's a house per year, per province, per, or per city. It's like, is that the one they're changing is, or they're just making dates that go way too far out in the future. Let's have a quick look at this here. Uh, 1300 phone homes over the next three years. Why, why three years? You know, why three, why five, why 10? Why not just say one, one year? So what is that? 300 homes a year. Spur construction of more than over the next decade. All these houses are needed now. This is so, to me, this is, this is just garbage the way they word this. And here, the housing accelerator fund. What a joke. All I remember is that guy, what's his name? Ada Hussein, Ahmed Hussein, just lawyer talk just repeating the same thing over and over and over and over and like when he was the getting that interview on w5 so anyway this goes back to the original one so what is this a thousand homes a year we're supposed to jump jump for joy that that that's everything and uh yeah it's just a bunch of uh, texts in there let me look for one other thing well this is the accelerator housing fund link the application window is now closed i don't get that sign up for the latest so uh apply for a stream if you have if your community is in canada has over ten thousand. okay well why not let's see i think this is already this is just going through application resources funding details am i eligible Ugh. I think uh, chat GPT yeah, with going through this. There's a lot of reading on here. I don't know if this is what's going on. So it looks like you can just apply for uh, for getting some loans for this. Anyway, I just wanted to point out that the they're pumping out a lot of articles that looks like they're targeted per city. It'd be nice to know what is it, how many houses are made per city, and why do they keep changing it from one year to here three years and, and doing that? So anyway, thanks for watching. Have a great day.